Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Slideshow, an 11 minute program where we have fun with generative AI. I'm your host, Taryn Boylan. As a kid growing up in 1970s Omaha, Nebraska, I tuned in every Saturday night to Creature Feature, a late-night horror show hosted by the late, great Dr. Sanguinary. Tonight's episode is a loving tribute to that part of my childhood. Enjoy. Good evening, and thank you for tuning in and sharing another Saturday night with us. If you're unfamiliar with who I am, allow me to introduce myself. I am Dr. Jaime Globin, and you're watching Creature Bloody Feature right here on KBNG-TV. Tonight's frightful offering is Plan 9 from Outer Space, an objectively terrible film from director Edward D. Wood Jr. that is also conveniently in the public domain. Let's have a look, shall we? <laughs> Greetings, my friends. We are all interested in the future, for that is where you and I are going to spend the rest of our lives. And remember, my friends, future events such as these will affect you in the future. You are interested in the unknown, the mysterious, the unexplainable. That is why you are here. And now for the first time, we are bringing to you the full story of what happened. On that fateful day, we are giving you all the evidence based only on the secret testimony of the miserable souls who survived this terrifying ordeal. Your space commander has returned from Earth. Send him in. You have your report? We have executed plans one through eight. Plan one called for peaceful radio communications with those stupid Earth creatures. They ignored us, the unmitigated Gaul. For plan two, we sent our spacecraft to appear at random intervals to random people living in random rural communities. Aside from inflicting lifelong trauma, this did not advance our objectives. Plan three, we decimated a small, stupid, inconsequential town. We felt this was an appropriately escalated response to their perceived snubs. They did not take that well and fired at our ships with their puny earth weapons. So stupid. Plan 4 was a second attempt at peaceful radio communications. It was at this point we learned they did not understand our spoken language, nor were they scanning our broadcast frequencies. In hindsight, Plan 3 may have been an overreaction on our part. In Plan 5, we began a campaign of friendly, let's get to know each other, hypno-beam abductions. In the process of our examinations, we learned the stupid earthlings do not find probes enjoyable, not even the anal ones. With Plan 6, we used our space lasers to burn descriptive pictogram messages onto the sides of their cattle. Unfortunately, the power setting on the lasers was too high, and the cattle perished as a result. I'd rather not talk about Plan 7 or 8. Let's just say they both involved further creative variations on anal probing. What plan will you follow now? Plan 9. We believe Plan 9 is the winner. Plan 9. Ah, yes. Plan 9 deals with the resurrection of the dead. It might appear that resurrecting the dead might be a somewhat lateral step in terms of our objectives. However, at this point, we're just trying to shake the stupid out of those stupid Earth brains. Continue on. Report to me in two Earth days.
Meanwhile, at the Pentagon in Washington, D.C. Come in. Yes, of course, I'll keep in touch. Come in, Colonel Edwards. Close the door. At ease, Colonel. Thank you, sir. I'll get right to it. I understand you're an expert on visitors from up there. Heaven, sir? Space aliens. Oh, them. Yes, I've encountered extraterrestrials a time or two. I, uh, like you, Colonel. Thank you, sir. We recently received a radio transmission. I want to see what you make of it. I'll do my best, General. Thoughts? You got me, sir. Aliens are tricky creatures. The eggheads think they're planning something, something big. Beyond cattle mutilations and probes, sir? Way beyond. Good lord. Well, they do love making plans. It's their defining characteristic. Come over here. You ever been to Hollywood? Oh, a couple of times, a few years ago. You're going to be there in the morning. Just a few minutes from Hollywood in the town of San Fernando, reports have come in of flying saucers flying so low the exhaust has knocked people to the ground. We need you to meet with the locals and figure out just what the space aliens' plan is. Colonel Edwards? Yes, sir. Good luck. Thank you, sir. Later, aboard the alien spaceship. You do not need guns. Maybe we think we do. They would be of no use to you now. They've been mighty useful before on flesh and blood. And you two look like you've got a lot of both. Fat shaming? How typically stupid. This man's wife made a similar comment when we abducted her. If you've done anything to Paula... Take it easy, Mr. Trent. Oh, I assure you, no harm has come to her. Would you like to see? Next time you try that, I won't aim at the board. You're a headstrong young man. I was only going to turn on the televisor so you could see her movements. You fiend! A fiend? Just because I resurrected a few rotting corpses? Do you even have a plan? A plan? You're witnessing Plan 9 right now. Plan 9? From outer space? But why? Several reasons. But mainly because you Earthlings are a bunch of stupid entitled assholes. We're not stupid! You... you're... You see? You see? Your stupid minds. Stupid. Stupid. That's all I'm taking from you! Take it easy, Mr. Trent. Take that! This one's for Paula! Come on, let's get out of here while the getting's good. Huh. Wonder if that's the last we'll see of them. Looks like it. We've got to hand it to them, though. They were far ahead of us. Well, that was certainly something, wasn't it? One programming note. Beginning next week, October 11th, Creature Bloody Feature will air at midnight due to an interloper called NBC's Saturday Night. Apparently our parent network has decided to remake your show of shows with no consideration for affiliate programming. How long this change will last I do not know, but the safe bet is this new show will be cancelled before long. Good night. And so we come to the end of another episode of Slideshow. Thanks so much for watching Episode 9 from Outer Space. I know this one was a little self-indulgent, but I hope you enjoyed it nonetheless. Good night, and have a pleasant tomorrow. See what I did there?
This concludes our transmission of your requested data. Only my closing commentary remains. I trust you found this strange footage from the early days of generative AI to be sufficiently suitable for your research purposes, even if it was neither entertaining nor enlightening. On behalf of the galactic chronosphere of highly educated space alien researchers, please leave positive feedback and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Farewell, for now.